Well, look at the panic going on in the oil markets, Ryan. Oil prices taking yeah. another hit this morning after a 13% sell-off on Friday, a recovery yesterday, partial. Uh, you've got now uh, down 2.5% on crude amid this growing concerns of the, over the new Omicron COVID-19 uh, variant. On Friday, the market fell out of bed. Your thoughts on yeah. what this is telling us. Is this indicating a macro story weakening or indicating that uh, oil prices were too high? Well, first off, I think to remember with oil, if you look at a chart, it looks like your favorite ride at Great Adventure, right? It's probably one of the most volatile asset classes, period. This is the second time that we've seen oil trade down below 70 in the last couple of months. But what I think you have to look at here is the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is oil demand next year is going to be higher than it was pre-pandemic. And if you look at producers right now, they're just not putting as much money into production anymore. And production's going down. Investment's going down. So if you look at supply and demand over the next couple of years, demand's really going to outstrip supply. And OPEC's going to meet this week plus. They're going to talk about, my guess, curbing any more production to keep prices higher. Russia likes prices higher. Uh, Saudi Arabia likes prices higher. So I do think this is very, very short term to see this kind of sell off. And I think it is a buying opportunity because uh, like what Dennis just said, man, you know, we're not talking about inflation all of a sudden, right? Inflation just all of a sudden that conversation has gone away with this dip on yes. Friday. I don't think that's the case. I think this is just a quick sell off. There's some jitters in the market here, but nothing's really changed. The world's awash in money. People have money to spend. Uh, and furthermore, if you look at just the, the Delta variant over the summertime, companies did a magnificent job, you know, really navigating through that. Earnings were up 40 percent last quarter. So I think, you know, you're going to see more of the same here. This is a dip to buy. Um, and I think by the end of the year, you're going to see a huge melt up in the market. You know, I've been very bullish. And if I'm right, eggnog on me 